Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm going to be showing you how to install a full band touchscreen radio in my 2002 Mitsubishi Montero Sport. So I've already started a few things. I've started, I took loose this front, the front bezel around the, the original radio. It has a snap there and a snap there and you also have two at the bottom so you want to just kind of pry you want to pry near to each one of those and you know just get it off without breaking it it's pretty simple um, the radio is held in by four screws right there right there and on that side, once you have those out, you can simply pull the radio out. Also, you need to have the vehicle in as far back as possible in order to slide the radio out. It makes it a lot easier for the space between, between here and there. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a hold of it and pull it out so yours is obviously going to have wires connected here at the back if you're just now taking it out so you should be able to just unplug the wiring harness from there and disconnect that and that is the radio antenna port there once you have that out the way this is the wiring harness for the radio. I've actually already cut my original wiring harness off of here. And I'm just going to be tying in this harness that came with my radio. So I'm going to go ahead and flash a picture of the wiring color code for this vehicle on the screen and I'll also have either a picture of it or I'll put it in the description below for the exact color codes for this vehicle and also I'm going to have the color code for the radio harness that I am installing in the vehicle so I'm going to go ahead and use um, this kit right here of shrink wrap or sorry heat shrink tube in order to connect these wires all together and then once I have that connected I will show you the finished product and the radio working anyway all right we'll be right back So here's what I've done. I've actually, I actually end up soldering the wires and shrink, putting shrink wrap over it. Uh, so now I'm just going to wrap all those up with uh, some tape so they'll be held together. And I already did test it out and it works. So these two wires right here, which is the ground and the green wire is the, um, it's to unlock specific features that they don't want you to access while you're driving. So that needs to be grounded to either like your um, emergency brake or to, or you can just ground it out anywhere, which I'm going to join it with the black wire and hook it to the back of the radio right underneath, right underneath there. So that way it's just grounded straight to the chassis of the car and there's no special process for unlocking the features in the radio. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all plugged up and I'll show you the end result. Be right. Alright, so here we are. The radio is now installed. As you can see, it fits pretty good. There is a little gap around the edge of the radio but overall I think that's a great fit for a double din 
and you don't need any additional bezel or trim fittings in order to get this in order to get a double den to fit in the Mitsubishi Montero. Um, also the brackets from the old radio you're actually able to unscrew them and screw them onto your new radio that already has holes drilled in certain areas and you're able to screw those in and this radio slides straight into the vehicle with any additional attachments needed uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and power it on and just like that the radio works and I'll go ahead and turn to tune so there you go radio works so anyway I hope this video was helpful and also it does work with the um, it does with the key work with the key so I'm going to put that back in park as you can see turned off to the key out it goes off and turn the key on and it powers right up so anyway so if you found this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos on car related topics anyway have a great day Thank you.